Hey guys, it's uh, Jug Lines from the Automator, and uh, I got a request from someone. Let me let me throw it up here on the screen. Yeah, they, they wanted to change the cell value in Excel, uh, but basically do kind of like conditional formatting does, except for hard code it, right? So if the cell in A1, if the, if the value in A1 is below zero, they want the font in A1 to be red, otherwise be black. Now, I'm going to assume... Normally it's going to be black, so I'm not going to program that, but even if it wasn't to be easy enough to, to do. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in. Let's switch over here. Now I haven't. Um, I actually started doing this, and I first realized was in my Excel function library, I didn't actually have a, uh, a thing to change the color of the font, which really surprised me. And then I remembered um, I had exchanged some email, emails with someone a while back in that um, the Excel font color doesn't use like a hex number and it also doesn't just take uh, at least for the color value it's just weird number um so uh, i i created two ways uh, in my excel function library oops so let's first off let's uh let's include that so now i'm in studio here right so i'll say include uh excel now when i save this notice here it still doesn't have excel so i need to refresh now i created a hotkey which is control r for me now, notice Excel is here, and that's important because I want the typing to auto-assist me. Okay, uh, Studio just crashed, which is really rare for me, but um, I'm going to just start over here. So, uh, Excel, first we're going to do is get the value, and look at that, i got to, there we go, okay. Excel, Excel, all right, now we get a handle, let's get just a handle. To the Excel application. However, it uh, even though it's the application, that's okay. Um, even though we're connecting the worksheet, it still, I believe, works just fine. So, first thing we want to do is let's get that value in cell A1. So, let's sort in var, and we're going to say uh, var colon equals Excel because that's the handle. Um, now, here we're just going to use range. Tell it where that's the reference where we're going to do it dot value i want value i could put text and that would give us just the nine um it should but um let's put this in the message box but i'm going to use value because we're going to later we're going to do some logic on the on how high of a you know value it is so message box bar save run hit my hotkey there we go 9.0 so great we're getting that value programmatically um, so that means i can comment this part out now let's we're going to leave these for now um Let's see about changing the color of that font. And so we're going to say Excel dot Excel underscore font format font format. So, so there's format font color and color RGB. And I'll explain the difference here. Let's start off with the format font color. Um, and that we need, oh, actually, sorry. This isn't Excel here. This is this Excel comma. Now here we want the range, that's A1, and the next one is the color. Now let's actually, let's, uh, with with Studio, if I hit, I'm in here and I hit Alt F1, it'll jump to that function for me. Um, and here I have a little cheat sheet, right? So and I'm going to hit my Alt left arrow to jump back. I'm going to put this here. So if I wanted that to be red, I can put a 3. I'm going to save this, reload, run it. Now just change that cell to, to red. If I put it to 4... It's going to be that like lime green kind of color, uh, seven, and there's a lot of other colors. Uh, there's a color chart somewhere if you want to look it up. Um, but this to me, this light yellow is going to look terrible. <laughs> you can barely see it. Uh, seven, oops, 17 might be a better light purple kind of, kind of in there. Um, and so let's go ahead. We're going to keep it with three because that was the, the one that we really wanted it to be. Um, and actually, what is, where is black? Black, oh, none. So two, oh, two is none. That's, that should say clear is what I would think I would say there. Um, one must be black. That's funny. I don't have it written down. There we go. So one's black. So we have a one. Now three, we're going to want to do this one conditionally. And then I'll show you the other format color here in a minute here. So uh, if bar is less than zero. Well, hey, that's, you know what? I like, I like adding the prints. These aren't required, but I'm going to do this and move that out. So if that is less than zero, make that, um, color it red. Color the 
range red. So I'm going to run this, and it didn't do, didn't seem to do anything because hey, nine is not less than zero. But let's say if this was a, a minus two, run it. Hey, look, now it's red all of a sudden. But what if this is a five? We run it. Oh, because I didn't actually. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and add the logic, and say um, else. And else, so no matter what, we're going to change the color. So this way, that way, if, oh, five, I'm an idiot. One, there we go. So now, regardless of whatever we put in here, um, and you know what, let's have a little fun with this. Let's just say uh, what we could do is put this whole thing in a loop. And, and you know what? First off, I wouldn't really program it this way because with our range here, we're using the range multiple times. And so I'd probably put this into a function if I was using this on a big thing. Um, but the minimum I'm going to do is I'm going to put this part in a loop. Sleep. Well, let's say half a second. 500. Um, so now it's going to get the handle and it's going to start looping over this get the value, um, check if it's less than one, and then color it accordingly. So save this, reload, run. Now, I should be able to, oh, um, the bad part is, um, if you're in the cell, that'll kind of break Excel when it's trying to change. So um, yeah, that's the only bad part about that. So let's say minus one. So I'd have to be really quick when I type this. And, and that would be fine. Or or what I could do is copy and paste, right? So I could be in here. Ooh. Let's say minus two. Cut. Over here, paste. And then it changes it to red. But if it is a two, yeah, I didn't like that because I was in there. Um, if, if you are, now look what will happen. If I'm in a cell, that's when Excel is going to have a problem getting that. And because this is an ever-checking loop, what I should do is put a sleep, you know, up in here too. And then... It'll uh, it'll sleep longer or have a longer sleep. Anyway, um, you get the idea. But what I want, what I'd also like to point out here is, uh, I wouldn't probably store this var. I would go like this. I would copy this. I'm going to comment this out, and this I'm just going to use as a reference now. And then I'm not storing a var anywhere. And so this way, it's just a little cleaner, right? And then what I would probably do is put this range, put the whole thing. And we don't want the loop. Let's get rid of the loop. That was just kind of show and. Uh, didn't work as well as I had expected, but that's fine. So, um, but this range, we wouldn't want to pass this three times, right? We would want to have it somewhere and then use it in, as a value. But now, I'm using my color function, so it just depends how much you're going to use this. You might want to create your own function to do that, um, but this, this is one way. Now, let's say that you had a specific color that you wanted to use and it wasn't one of these colors and when i say these i don't necessarily mean the ones that i have listed here um but um but something else entirely something unique right like uh ooh, my let's see here do i have the automator let's go to the automator and then i have a unique yellow which i don't know what color it is but I do have a great little color picker I wrote, and if you search my channel, you'll see it. So there's this, although this is <laughs> this is a hex color, and I need the RGB values. Um, so hex to RGB. Um, all right, so it's 255, 21165. So we'll leave this up here so we know that. Um, now let's just do a demo. I'm going to put a return here. So it just stops processing. Oh, come on. I don't know why that disappeared, but uh, let's take this and let's write it down here. So R is two, two, five, five. Green is equals two, one, one. And blue equals 65. Okay. I'm not sure why that uh, reloaded on me, but um, now let's say all right, Excel format font color RGB. 
Now here, this is one of the things, see how this is assisting me? This is one of the things I love about Studio is even on a custom function, it populates this here. So for here's my pointer. Um, the range is still A1. Now, now it just says, hey, what do you want red to be? Um, I want red to be 255. I want green to be 211. And I want blue to be zero. So I'm going to save this. Now notice this, there's another parameter after that, the color, it's a word color. Um, I'll explain that here in a minute, but first let's uh, save this, reload, and oh, look at this. I'm gonna, this needs to be in double quotes. There we go. So reload run. And it didn't like something. Did it, did it say it didn't have a color here? Oh, you know what? I haven't actually tested using this. Um, I wonder if, if I, the way I wrote it, that these need to be in, in quotes. Or not. Call rejected by colleague. Am I in the cell here? That's usually the problem. Yeah, that's all right. That was the problem. I was in a cell. And, and that was the point I was making earlier. Ironically, I, I fell for it, or I didn't fall, you know, should have realized that. So let me get these out of the quotes. And I don't think I need this because that is um, uh, optional. So I'm um, going to come over here, control one. Let's set this to blue or black, excuse me. Hit my hotkey. There we go. So this is a way you can set it to a specific color that you want. Now, however, initially, when I first did this, I said, you know what? I, I still might want to use this, but tell it a color. Like, let's say, comma, red. I'm going to reload this. And hey, look, it makes it red. Or what if I say blue? Or green? Right? So let me jump to this function. And here, what I did was I created a ternary and said, hey, if you provide a color, look through this ternary. If it's either white, red, green, or blue, assign these colors. Otherwise, make it black. And actually, I should say. Let's add that here. Uh, so it will look for these if you provide a color, right? It will it will assign a color. Now, if you don't provide something, it doesn't do this, and it just uses these, right? So we could have just used this one and told it red, or of course we could have said the word red, or we could have put in values for red, which was, uh, where is right here? 25500. Um, or we could have said the word red, or we can use the other one up here with the color index of red, which is three. So I hope that helps. Um, check out the uh, Excel function library if you go. Let me see my sites up here. To uh, the Automator, to Excel. Um, and, and there's a new, you know, this version is newer. Um, so right here, go here in this page, you can download it here. It does require your email address, but I got a lot of functions. If we look in here, right, there's, there's a lot of pre-built functions for you that do a lot of stuff. Um, so I hope that helps. Cheers.